Hey guys, thanks for coming by the booth, the Keltec booth that is. It's 2015 SHOT Show, welcome. We're gonna go over the Sub 2000 Gen 2. This will be a hot item this year. We'll start up here at the muzzle. You'll notice it's got an aluminum front sight now as opposed to that polymer sight that we used to have. It's got an A2 style post in there, so any AR tool, you can go ahead and adjust your elevation. We've got a thumb screw here that you can adjust your windage with. It also has a muzzle nut and a set screw. So if you take the muzzle nut off and loosen the set screw, you can actually screw the sight right off the gun. And uh, it's got half by 28 threads, so if you want to put a brake on there, uh, stick a can on the gun, it's out of the box, ready to go. Uh, moving to the handguard, you'll notice it's a much more slim, uh, slim lined uh, than the first gen. It's got a 1913 pick rail, both on top and bottom. It also has the M-lock slots, so if you want to pick up some of those Magpul sections and go ahead and put a flashlight on there or any other accessory, uh, you've got that available as well. And then moving down, it's uh, just a much more ergonomic uh, design than the first gen. Um, you can actually extend out a little further with the gun, um, or if you want to pull it in here, you've got uh, a nice grip pattern here as well. Moving to the receiver, we've got a new mold for the receiver, so it's much, much more ergonomic, and the polymer is just a much better quality than the Gen 1. And the greatest thing about this is there's no more trim work that we have to do, so we can do 100% more production with this gun. So in 2015, you'll be seeing a lot more of these. I know they've been hard to find, I know they've been expensive, so I'm trying to take care of that problem for you guys. It will be in all the same variants, all the Glock variants, the Smith & Wesson variant, um, also the uh, Beretta. And down the road, we're gonna do the M&P series mags for this gun as well. Moving back to the bolt tube, it's now black nitrided, which is a really nice finish. And you come back to the stock, now the stock on this gun is now adjustable. For some of those guys with the longer arms, that's been a request for years now. So we've finally taken care of that, added some uh, more sling loops, and just made it a, a tougher, you know, more rigid gun. So it actually feels a lot better. It feels a little more balanced, and it's just got a lot better quality than the Gen 1 gun. So be looking for these here, 2015 and beyond. It's a great firearm. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, it actually folds in half. Great backpack, great trail gun. Thanks for coming by, guys. The MSRP on the Gen 2 Sub 2000 is $500.